there there is two um pins a seven millimeter right there and then there's another one behind there it's once you get those loose they look like that when you take them off and then the one pad will fall off the outer one and the inner one will stay in there and this is a new rotor I just that's made a rotor video and this will just pop right out and what I want to do to put in if you want to install new ones or where I'm at right now is um, I got a see that just goes right in there see that just goes right in there I need to push there's a piston up in here I need to put the C clamp on there one in right there and one on the other and then up here I took the cap off the brake reservoir and I want to suction some brake fluid out from the top with a turkey baster or something like that that way because when I push this piston in and put this brake pad on and put the other brake pad on and then I, what I want to do is make enough room so I can put it back on over the rotor so there's enough room enough clearance so I got to push that piston up there's a piston side there but that pushes brake fluid through the system up and I don't want it to overflow so I got to be very very careful when I do this so I'm gonna do it and and that's how you change your brakes and you take your wheel off and then you get down to where the caliper is on top of there and um, this, this bracket right here holds the rotor on, rotor on but anyway the bracket there's yeah there's two seven millimeter um, allen keys first there's little caps little dust caps you gotta pry off with a screwdriver you take this screw there's a little cap right there you take that cap off it's just a little cap that goes in, inside here you just push it off with the screwdriver see my rotor my how to remove rotors video to, if you if you're unsure take the little cap off and then you put a seven millimeter um, seven millimeter uh, allen key on there and don't forget to take this thing off that's the first thing you want to do is take that off I forgot to, forgot to mention that take that little thing off little metal piece it's somewhere around here. That's, that's the first thing you do when you take it off. So do that first. Alright, make sure everything jack stand up and you're working on safe, secure. You got the emergency brake up and everything's blocked off. And you got room to put your caliper so the brake hose isn't dangling. So the whole thing's not dangling and it's putting pressure on the brake hose. You got something to put that on. I just put on the tire. And, well, that's it. So take that off and then you take th those out and then one of those falls the brake pad <clears throat> and you put your new you take you take that out you pull that out it just pulls right out and then it just pushes right back in and then you put the new one in you put the new pad well first you put a c-clamp on here from here to there and you turn it and tighten it, tighten it to where the piston goes in make sure you have your brake fluid uh, you take your cap off and you suction the fluid off. Make sure the fl brake fluid doesn't open. As you can see, when I turn this, see the fluid level, how high it is? Oh, I was trying to turn and hold the camera at the same time, but that slipped off. But I'm pushing on that that way, and then it's holding. And the piston, it looks like it's all, it's all the way up, so I should be all right. I wasn't going to suck that out with a turkey baster but it it should be good so I'm just gonna yeah 